This is Yogi Priyanka. And um, let me tell you about myself. I am into yoga, as my name says. And I stay in Canada. Now, what made me come to yoga and what my qualifications are? I am, by qualification, I am electronics engineer. And um, long ago, I was obese, like highly, highly obese. And not only I was obese, I was having sinusitis, I was having high blood pressure and constipated I was. So, but these problems weren't problem for me. The real problem that time was to get into my clothes and to gain my confidence back. Because the moment I'll see thin girls, I will become, uh, you know, I wouldn't have the confidence to talk in front and do anything. So that was my real pain point way back then. So when I started doing yoga after a couple of uh, months, about, I would say days only, I started feeling lighter. And that time I decided to resign and started uh, searching more into yoga, more into Ayurveda, naturopathy and all. So today's purpose is to bring you the same lightness and my years old experience to, to discover that how can you get your body which you really love and in this special uh, feeling, there are certain cleansing kriyas which really helps. So one of those cleansing kriya we are going to talk about today. So let me share my screen with you. So let me share my screen. Here is it. So as you're saying, so what is yogic cleansing kriya? So that's the topic of today's uh, talk. So you now know about what my qualifications are and what my experience was and what yoga gave me. So now, first of all, I would like to thank you for able to uh, be here and listen to me. So now let us get going towards the next slide. So, so what is the reason why do we cleanse? Like in your home, when, you're, when anything gets dirty, you clean it. When it has strain, you clean it even more with more power and more tools. Sometimes we apply lemon, sometimes we apply toothpaste, sometimes we apply cleansing material or anything and what or what not. In the body, same thing happens. When your body has accumulation of toxins, it tries to get rid of the those toxins. Because toxins, as the name says, poisonous, these are not good for us. Some residual volume of air, when it sucks down, body exhales body expel it out when you have uh, some toxins accumulated inside the body you have fever and then your body sweats you, are, you have uh, sweating and then that comes out to your skin so your lungs and skin major role plays major 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 role to excrete to help you become lighter and excrete these morbid out now what else why do we pee why do we poo those are the things which really not wanting stuff. And that's the body has a measure to those to move those out. So now some people, they are not uh, really go, you know, able to pass their motion. Bubble are not clean in them. And that's called, that's called constipation. So basti is the kriya. So I will explain you in the next slide. Uh, the benefits and then we'll talk about what are those cleansing processes in Ayurveda in yoga and um, we'll be talking about Shampakshal and Kriya today so let me take you there so once you have access of mucus gas acid sweat urine stool so all those impurities gets out through your body to either pee poo or your sweat so now sometime when you're constipated, you are not able to take that out, then what are the ways to take that morbid out and what are the benefits? Let me take you to the next slide with this. So let me take you to the next slide. So this, uh, once you're able to clean yourself, then what it does, it gives you inner awakening rather than just, you know, cleaning your, uh, just cleaning your respiratory tract or your digestive tract. It gives you, and maybe, you know, not maybe, but then the clear skin will appear once you sweat the toxins out, the clear skin, but the real game is inside game. So everything is happening from inside. And that brings you to the strength and the inner awareness. 
and uh, some people have allergy because they have toxins and putrefied material because of that they have bad guys in the body and because of that bad guys like allergies happens and you are hyper you become hypersensitive to some food and to some pollen or outside conditions so or whenever weather changes you feel that so for that meti kriya is there but we are not talking about meti today we are going to talk about shampak shalom so let me give you a overview overview how many uh, cleansing kriyas are there there are six but we'll talk about uh, shampak shalom today okay so there is uh, neti which is uh, aid jala neti or the, um so sutra neti so you will we'll be either doing jala neti or sutra and then kapalabhati is to clean your lungs and your forehead and your head and then dhoti is there where you eat a cloth and then take that out and mucus comes out with that enema is uh, a technique to cleanse your bowel and nali is a technique which strengthens your intestines and you rotate your intestines and then morbid that helps the morbid the second morbid to come out and another is prataka prataka is gazing like you know i'm just looking at uh, maybe in in you so you're saying like gazing at one point at some point so i'm looking at camera here so this gazing at one point and gazing 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 but here we gaze at light any kind of light basic ghee lamp or candle so you need to see that top of the flame now this is all about those six kriyas so how shankakshalan is related this is clear a little bit related to basti which is enema but you are not inserting uh, you know water into your rectum it's not that you're drinking water and the water comes out through your rectum but this whole process will take some hours and the prerequisites are you need lukewarm water So let me explain um, why the name is Shankakshalan, and then I'll talk about the prerequisites. So Shankakshalan is like uh, like conch. It's a shank, and then you blow air. So in India, in India, we know what shank is, but then uh, those who don't know, it's a conch, and then you blow air, and it has grooves inside. So when once we wash it, the water doesn't come down directly; it comes spirally down. so same way in the water which we drink in sankakshalan kriya it goes into mouth and it spirals down and it goes down with such a pressure that it kicks out the morbid which are being stuck since years and ages because if you are not going to wash them twice or after every food you are constipated even if you are saying that you know i clean my bowel daily i go to wash them daily but that cell be constipated so you need this kriya big time so now what are the three requisites you need the uh, himalayan pink salt that's the purest form of the salt we use and then we need lemon let me put the slide up you need lemon and then we need lukewarm water and no sugar added into it sometimes some people who are really really weak we add uh, honey but initial after initial um, uh repetitions but then later on you just need plain water nothing else because the plain water will work as uh, same as your the lime water will do and uh, what are the postures i uh, am i able to do all these postures or not so there are four postures sometimes some people they say it's five or six so you can always improvise and break those postures into further more postures but for simplicity we are talking about you know So furthermore, so just for simplicity, we are talking about four postures. But then, and any time you can extend it and break that into more. So if I'll break these postures, I can make it six posture. I can make it eight postures. But for simplicity, we are keeping it four. And what are those four postures? Let me talk about that. So let us talk about the four postures. One is Tadasana and Tirayak Tadasana. another is uh, kati chakra asana then next is bhujanga asana and then in the end uttara pratyam asana so what all what 
SD technique for doing these asanas. Is there any video for this, these asanas? So I am coming up with my live uh, show. And then I, I always say show. So, so I'm coming up with a live video, live uh, class on Zoom. So you can learn all these asanas. So for some time, we'll practice those asanas. And then once you master those asanas, then we'll start drinking water and do the same. So that's pretty much all about uh, the, this presentation about Shampakshal and Kriya. And what are the benefits? We have already spoke about the benefits, but let me end this slide, this presentation with the benefits, which is, it gives you, what appeals me more, it gives you inner awareness. So right here, it gives you inner awareness, which is of the utmost um, benefit. So with this slide, I would like to end this presentation here. If you have any questions, queries, just write to me. Either comment or send me a personal message. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you so much.